Hey guys, here's a top tip if you want to create event-driven pipelines, especially on AWS. I've found this yesterday when I was recording a video and this is from an AWS architecture video and this is really cool. Check this out. So let's say you have a file and this file will be dropped from a device or from somewhere. It will be dropped into S3 as a file store. And you want to process this with, for instance, EC2 a do transformations on it the cool way for event driven is that you have s3 send a notification to sns simple notification service that then will be distributed to a simple queue service and from there ec2 is going to then basically get that information it's going to take the data from s3 and then process it and if this is good it will be writing the data somewhere else but if this fails, it will be actually send, telling SQS that this notification or this message needs to stay in there and will be automatically offered again here. And this is a really, really good, uh, good pattern to actually do because this way you will stay fully event driven and you will have that option of, okay, if this fails, the message will stay here, will be offered again, and this you will be able to reprocess it. And with why are people doing SNS here and not basically taking the notification and writing it directly into the queue service, because you could do that. You can actually, with this option, you could have another queue here that takes this message from here and do, does something completely uh, different, another um, processing. So you can fan out actually one message here with this. And this is a really, really cool and important pattern that you have to learn and understand for all event-driven pipelines. You have an event that is coming, you will send this into a queue and then you will process from that queue and with the sqs part it's really again it's really really cool to then reprocess the message if this fails otherwise like what would you do if it's gone hmm. difficult right so keep this in mind this is a top tip you have this pattern of course on other platforms as well this was just an aws example because they have this on their website and yeah i hope you learned something See you next time.